Welcome everybody. A few of my constituents and people in comments have asked me to go over Nginx and maybe Nextcloud and a few other Docker containers. So let's go right into it. Now I've updated my system to this version 10.0.2. They fixed some of the glaring bugs that came out with the major release, the stable release. So I suggest you also update. It will change the dynamic somewhat. I've already noticed some things that were improved. I have my Docker host running. It has plenty of space. It has 10 cores, 40 gigs of DDR4. So I can have dozens of these containers easily running on it. You know, you can have more than one host and give it less power and then just separate it that way. For security reasons, you might want to do that, but let's go right into Nginx. Nginx can serve as a re reverse proxy for the web, mail, and also a load balancer, and as well as uh, a web server itself. Notice uh, the ports. Okay, so that we have uh, host ports and the container ports. So when we navigate to container in bridge mode so when we go to HTTPS it translates it to 8081 so it doesn't conflict with any other running ports on the host server and whatnot we can change this because 8080 is really used by a lot of things but I'm gonna leave this all right so I'm gonna leave these two empty to get populated by VM host and I'm gonna give just this one Right, bridged. And again, I created it fine. Let's go to it and start it. So my default and custom configurations are not listed here. Okay, let me go to web browser and then uh, let's see if the default comes up. 192.168.1.250. Welcome to Nginx. All right, so <laughs> I know that web server is working. So there you have it, folks.